12 here to use firearms. The East Antrim Alliance MLA, Stuart Dixon's worried that the age at which a young person here may have supervised access to air guns or shotguns will drop by four years. I am concerned that, that any change in the gun laws is exceptionally well managed and is very tightly managed. The argument has been made with regards to sports, but we need to be sure that this isn't sending out a wrong signal to the community. Uh, it's been done for that reason and that reason alone. Well, let's hear from the Justice Minister, David Ford, and the Green Party leader, Stephen Agnew. Good evening to you both. Good evening. Good evening, Seamus. David Ford, why are you changing the law? Well, we had a consultation carried out on a number of issues relating to firearms, one of which was the issue of the minimum age which somebody would be able to use a shotgun or an air rifle under supervision. And there was a strong lobby from some people, in fact, in fact there was a lobby from some people that there should be no age limit whatsoever. And there was a strong lobby that there should be a reduction in the age of 16. And that's an issue which we're now looking at, exactly how you would put in the safeguards over supervision into such a proposal. So what safeguards will there be? We don't know yet. Well, we are working through the detail. You have already heard the, you know, the broad outline of it, that the supervision must be by somebody aged at least 21 who has held a relevant firearm certificate, i.e. for the same kind of firearm, for a period of at least three years. But I'm concerned to see that we get the appropriate safeguards in so that we ensure public safety. Stephen, and you, is that enough to reassure you? It, it, it's not, unfortunately. I mean, uh, David refers to the consultation. It was the firearms licensing fee consultation. And my concern is that this has passed many people by because that, that may be a consultation that most people wouldn't have had interest in. Had they known there was a proposal in it to reduce the legal age by which you could use a firearm, I think more people would have taken well, interest. Well, I'm not sure in. about that because I looked at the website and you can see there what the responses were. And there's a specific section on what I think they're calling the young shooters proposals and in there you can see people's reaction to this reduction in the in the age so I'm not I'm not clear that you're right in saying that well, people no, would, would, if, it would have passed people by if, if you look into the document um, then yes you can see that but if, if you just look at the title of document you might think that that that's of no relevance to me and what you'll notice having having looked at the consultation is there is is, is no response from children's groups and I think children's safety has to be paramount in all this and if we compare it for something like when we look at um, driving age we're, we're saying now that young people aren't responsible enough at, at, at 17 to have other people in the car when they're driving but we're saying a 21 year old sufficient to supervise somebody younger than 16 and, and, and using a firearm. David Ford, I mean, if, if we're well, let's get an answer to that. Messing yeah. around in a car, I think we should be worried about messing about with guns. Well, Stephen makes that point, but the key issue, of course, is that if you get a driving licence, you're entitled to drive without any supervision. What we're talking about in this case is allowing young people to have access to certain limited categories of firearm under strict supervision. It's not an issue of people having their own firearm certificate, which would be the equivalent of having their own driving licence. And they can't own, David Ford, they cannot own at the age of 12 a shotgun or air gun, no, can they? No, it is purely use under strict supervision. They cannot own, they cannot hold a firearm. But do they have to? Ha oh, they, so they do not have. They will not have to have a firearm certificate. No, it's not. They will not have to have. They will not be allowed to have. Right. It will be a matter of using a firearm under appropriate strict supervision. So, Stephen, and you, what's wrong with that? There is no lower li age limit for target rifles or pistols, is there? Um, and I, I think that's something we should be should be concerned about. My my, my problem is is how how do you police that that supervision? And the, the point has been made about sport, and I think there maybe is an argument to be made there uh, around sporting issues. But I think when we look at what the term sport sometimes covers, we're we're talking about hunting here as well. And and my concern is that the, the hunting lobby has um, has again flexed its muscles over this issue and got its way in their own interests and not in the interests of children or their safety. David Ford, how do you police supervision? How do you know that this the, these young people will be properly supervised? Well, that is the kind of question that we're working through to see that we get the appropriate arrangements for supervision in place, Shemus. I mean, the well, reality but, is... But there should are, you have decided to lower the age without having the precise arrangements for supervision in place to be able to well, reassure people? Well, hold on. You're, you're talking about a decision in principle. The issue still has to be worked through. We require primary legislation 
for that to be done. And that is the kind of matter which will be considered as we put through the primary legislation at an appropriate stage as we look at other firearms measures as well. I mean, the reality is I was criticised earlier today on a Radio Ulster interview because it was said that I hadn't implemented what was actually a very late addition to the Justice Bill when it be just before it became the Justice Act in 2011. That would have removed all age restrictions whatsoever. I was not prepared to introduce the provisions of that. What I am concerned to do is that we see have a proper consultation, do we have a proper consultation on the legislative process, and those concerns can then be addressed during that assembly process. You see, Stephen Agnew, it's just bringing us into line. In Britain, there is no lower age limit. Well, sometimes bring this into line, and, and you will note in you know uh, recent years there has been a lobby within England that they need stricter gun laws. So uh, you know, no one's saying in England our laws are perfect. You should copy them, and and I, I think we we should decide our laws for ourselves based on evidence and and based on the views of our own people. And I, you know, I'm pleased to hear there will be further consultation on this. All right. And it, it's worth noting much has been made of of Matt Beckett's position on this, but when you look at well, the he's consultation, happy with it. It, it, well, the PSNI originally said they, um, whilst they weren't against lowering it to 12, they would prefer the status quo, i.e. that it be restricted to 18-year-olds or 16-year-olds in some circumstances. So PSNI's position was that they would prefer the status quo, um, even if they didn't directly object to it being reduced to 12. All right. Just, so just one quick point, Seamus. We're not bringing the law into line with what it is in England. We're right. actually maintaining significantly stricter safeguards in Northern Ireland. David Ford and Stephen Agnew, thank you both. 26 minutes past five and still to come, the health